Hi guys and welcome to Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be making a chicken with lemon sauce. And this is a dish that actually originated in Greece and found its way to southern Italy. It's probably about as close as you're going to come to a chicken carbonara. And so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and season the flour. We're going to add salt and pepper to taste, I suppose. Okay, and that's going to make a good seasoning base for our chicken. Then we're going to add the chicken right into the bag. Okay, so the recipe calls for chicken thighs with the skin on that you're supposed to chop up. So we just use the um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs and um, cut that into pieces. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kind of like a shake and bake mix. Kind of chicken nice and coated. Okay, and then once the chicken is coated, we are just going to um, turn that out into a bowl and then we are going to shake off the excess flour. Okay. Pepper, set that aside. And you're just going to shake that until you get rid of all the excess flour and that's all you need to do. And then we are ready to start heating the oil and making the rest of the meal. Okay, we're getting ready to fire up the skillet. We're going to go ahead and pop that on, put it on a low setting. Then we're going to add the oil. Mm -hmm. and probably let that heat up just a bit. And that is six tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Would Antonio use anything different? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> would be my guess. Um, okay, into the olive oil, we're going to add the onion. And that is one onion that has been finely chopped. We do want to let this cook for a little bit. Yes, so we're going to fry the onions for about 10 minutes until it's really nice and tender and on a low heat so it doesn't burn. Okay, and then while we leave the onions to fry, we can go ahead and start preparing the ingredients for the sauce. So we're going to go ahead and beat the eggs. So we're going to beat the eggs and that is two eggs plus two egg yolks. And then to that, we will be adding the juice of one lemon, one tablespoon of finely chopped parsley, and a clove of garlic that has been, well, we minced ours. It says in the recipe to puree it, but we just minced ours. Go ahead and add in what order? Does it matter? The garlic? No, you know, it's just everything is going to be mixed. Okay, so we added the garlic. Go ahead and add the, the parsley. The parsley. Okay. And what next? The lemon juice? Lemon juice. And then that's just going to be whisked together. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab the whisk again and whisk that. Yep, so and then once that is nicely mixed, we're just going to set that aside um, until we're ready to use it. Okay, so we will go ahead and set that aside. Well, it looks like our onions are just about ready, and we are now ready to add our chicken. We will grab that. And put our chicken, and put our chicken right in there. Put that aside. And then we're going to just cook that for about another 10 minutes or so until the chicken has browned up nicely and is cooked through. Okay, it looks like our chicken is cooked nicely, and to that we will be adding 50 milliliters of a dry white wine. 
we have here. Mm, well done. <laughs> so then we're going to go ahead and, um, and stir that and allow that to cook a little longer so the alcohol can evaporate. Oh, that smells good. Mm, looks good enough to eat just like this. Mm. Okay, our chicken is just about done here with the wine coating the chicken nicely. We're going to go ahead and reduce the heat. In fact, you could probably just turn it right off. Okay, um, we'll do that. Pretty much like you would do with the carbonara. You're going to be adding the egg, the egg mixture. And the heat from the chicken will cook the egg. Okay, so are we ready to add our sauce? We're ready to add the sauce. Okay. Grab this here. And we'll add our sauce, if I can do this without scrambling the eggs, it'll be amazing. Okay, so you're just going to keep stirring it, um, keep it moving so the eggs don't scramble. And if you feel like you need to turn the heat back on, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, I wonder if I should a little bit. Yeah. It does seem to be thickening up rather nicely. Um, it doesn't say to do this in the recipe, but if you want a slightly thinner sauce, you can certainly add a little bit of water to it, much like you would do with a carbonara. Okay, our sauce has thickened up quite a bit, so we are going to add just a little bit of water here to thin it up just a touch. Let's see how that goes. And then... Um, this recipe doesn't actually say what to serve this with. We've chosen to serve ours with a nice orzo pasta. And we'll be making some asparagus to go with that. So we're going to go ahead and get that ready and then we'll do a taste test. Alright. Mm, Mamma mia! We are ready to go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to skip the asparagus for now because I know what that tastes like already. <laughs> Yeah, we'll skip the asparagus <laughs> and the pasta. We're just going straight for the chicken. And see what we think. Mmm. That is a very nice light lemon flavor. Mm. A little bit of a hint of the garlic. It's really good. Mmm. Yeah, it's very good. It all kind of blends together very nicely. I'm going to mm. try just a little bit of mm. the pasta with that and see That's how it That's a good idea. Mm. I think we have a home run here. They go very well together. I would say, again, Antonio did not disappoint us. Not that he ever has so far. Yes, yeah, so far every single recipe we've tried has been great. So, again guys, if you try this at home, leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Mm. And enjoy it, because we certainly are. Yeah, and then until next time, goodbye. <laughs>